Hello. So, um, this is, I don't know, this is very exciting for me because I've never done something like this before. Um, on Facebook, you probably have seen the, uh, advertisements for, like, the Quip toothbrush and how, like, cool it is and sleek it is and Time Magazine's giving it all these good reviews. I eventually gave in and bought it. So, it just now came in the mail today. Uh, this is the packaging for it. I guess I'm going to do, like, an unboxing, unbagging for it. Um, on the front of it, it does have, like, this little symbol here. It shows that it says Quip. Um, covering up my info, obviously. There is, you know, cool little stuff on the side. I did kind of tear it open already simply because of the fact that I wanted to, like, look inside already to see what there was. And it's got a lot of awesome goodies in there. So let's get started. First thing you're going to see is this, like, book that comes in it. Um, story time with Quip. Hello, we're Quip and we want to simplify your oral health. Um, introduction to oral health. We know it's the small steps that make a big difference. Healthy technique. Um, don't brush too hard, obviously. Regular upkeep, which is always good. We simplify the small steps using good design, not gimmicks. Streamline routine. Um, it's this is actually pretty awesome. It does tell you like how to properly keep a uh, clean mouth. I guess you can say one month refresh, three month refill, six month checkup. Toothbrush, vibrating bristles, portable design, fresh soft heads. Uh, we're here to help. Refer your friends, earn five dollar rewards. So if you want to go ahead and um, help me out, go to the Quip website off of my referral link, and you can go ahead and do that. We got another thing here. It says, "Welcome. Thanks for trusting us with your oral health. Um, we'd love to see how Quip upgrades your bathroom by tagging at Get Quip on any social media platform. That's cool." Um, set up, read up, start up, awesome. Most of us are brushing badly. Browse the booklet to learn how to improve your oral care. I guess these go hand in hand. Now here's the goody good stuff. I already see it right here and I'm super stoked about this. Here is the Quip toothbrush. I got mine as the plastic blue one simply because of the fact that I didn't want to go straight into the metal one in case I did not like it and then I was stuck with like a metal toothbrush. Um, it's pretty cool. Like, this is like the normal size for a toothbrush. Let me grab a toothbrush. So, we've got my spin brush right now, which is, if this is the base of it I'm saying, seeing. It looks like my spin brush is about half an inch tall. Not half an inch, I don't know. A few centimeters taller. My girlfriend's toothbrush uh, looks like mine. My new Quip now is a few inches taller. But we're also still in this little, like, plastic sleeve here. So I do not know. Let's take this out. Actually, first, let's get the rest of the goodies. Oh! I can smell it in here. I don't even know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Does that mean there's like a leak in like active ingredients? Sodium monofluorophosphate. Cool. Um, usually my girlfriend tells me we're not supposed to have anything that has glycerin in it. And inactive ingredients, it does not look like there is glycerin in it. So that's cool. Uh, this comes with a new uh, toothbrush every three months as well. If you sign up for it, you could get just brush heads. I chose to get the toothpaste as well, simply because of the fact that, I mean, why the fuck not? Free toothpaste. Mmm, smells minty. And then we got this guy right here, which you're supposed to, you, this is like a two-week supply. Uh, it does come, again, with the toothbrush if you signed up for that, but I don't understand why there's a two-week supply. Um, does this have active ingredients? Same exact thing. It looks like they've got literally the, ah, the same exact ingredients on it. I'm going to say they do. Yeah. Pretty much they do. Like I said, I don't know why there's a two-week supply. Maybe this is like a, your travel kit. Like, I don't know. But that's cool. And then there's nothing else in the bag. Sweet. Jesus. Um, let's open up this guy. I'm guessing this is like the travel tube, maybe? So, is it a twist off or is it a pop off? Oh, it's got a little fucking thing. No wonder why. Okay, so, let's use our trusty, uh, random screw that we have sitting on our desk. Ooh, it's not even like a sticker. It's like a... No, it is a sticker. Never mind. But then we just crack that off. Oh, and it's like attached to it. I don't know. That's kind of cool. I don't know why I smelled it, but it doesn't smell like it's infected by anything, so that's cool. Um, read me, peel me. 
So I'm gonna read it and peel it. So that's a read. Or should I like read down here? Press the Q to turn on, or the Q right there. Um, let me try to undo it from here and see. Let me give it like a little twisty poo. Okay, never mind. Let me just peel this off right here so I can get this thing. There we go. So that toothbrush slides right out. Now, here's the actual size of it. Um, it is a small, it is a tad bit smaller. Looks like maybe it's a tad bit thinner. But it does feel kind of nice, you know. Uh, it does, I believe, have the battery in it already. So uh, it does, this feels progressive. They feel about the same. I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, this is lighter. Um, yeah, they feel pretty much the same. Um, definitely this is obviously lighter than a this one because this one takes AA batteries. This one takes a AAA. Uh, as you can see, progressively smaller, which now I like that because this has been sitting in our medicine cabinet and it just takes up room. Um, this is going to be nice because I'm going to be able to stick it right into the mirror. Uh, the brush feels nice. Ooh, these are like super soft. I thought like I from a from the picture, I always thought that these like little prongy things here were going to be very um hard. But these are like super soft, so that's nice. Uh looks like that might be like a little tongue scraper as well, even though I have one. I'm gonna press the button to see how the vibration is. Oh shit. Can you hear that? That is that is some vibration there, as compared to this one. Oh God, turn off. There we go. Um, this one also has a battery that's been in it for probably a month or two, maybe three already. So this one's kind of slowly dying. This one, It's not how you use a toothbrush, by the way, so don't do this. It just feels tingly. So that's kind of nice. So it does show that it actually is uh, transferring all of the motor, whatever, all the way up to the brush head, as opposed to some things where this will, the head, this will vibrate and this one will stay stationary. Um, my girlfriend likes this kind just because I don't know. The one thing I've noticed is that with this kind, let me turn this off so I don't waste her battery. Uh, the battery's like right here and you could feel the brush head vibrating mostly, and then the end of it is not vibrating. This one, the end you could feel vibrating way more, but it's mainly vibrating right here, and then up at the top. Um, yeah, again, like the, that's barely any vibration here, and there's a lot of vibration here, and a lot of vibration here. I don't know, I think, yes, this is dying a little bit, but it feels like this might be stronger then again, I could be biased because I'm trying to do this review here. Um, this is going to be the, oh shit, this is the like the slippery thing that goes onto the mirror. So I'm going to take this off because this is going to be, there's more to it. Uh, so it sticks to the, uh, a clean, glossy, flat and dry mirror, glass or tile, just like a suction cup. Press strip firmly on a surface for five seconds. Base cap pops out for cleaning, so insert uh, each time to avoid damaging brush, please watch safe use video on getquip.com slash cover. So apparently there's a video for how to properly use that. Um, yeah. So, um, we're in the bathroom now. I finally removed the, like, thing around there. It was kind of a little bit difficult, but I was able to get it. Which is cool, because you, I guess you save this in the tube, and that becomes your traveling, um, case. So here's what it's going to look like. Uh, it says peel the strip and sticks to the clean, glossy, unglossed surface and make sure that my, um, what do you call it here? My mirror is nice and clean where I want to put the toothbrush. I want to put it like somewhere where you're going to see it. Well, I'm going to see it because of the fact that I think this thing looks badass. Um, but I also want it out of the way. So if you need to use the mirror, you're not going to, you know, be like, oh my God, I need to use a mirror and I can't. So I guess, uh... The easiest way to do this is just peel this little guy off. Yep. Yep. Oh, wait, there it is. I see it. Yep, here it is. There's a little teeny clear strip. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. 
Dry that thing off. We're just gonna stick this guy right here. And just like that, it is on there. So it looks pretty sweet, you know, cause then you're like, oh man, I wanna get into my medicine cabinet. And then it's like right fucking there, you know, it's pretty sweet. Um, and I like that you can just like pull it right out and you're like, aha, I'm ready to brush. Wow, All right, so anyways, uh, let's go to a brush test. So for a brush test, I'm going to be using the Quip toothpaste that they give you. Um, safety first, they give you a little seal that's on top of that, which is nice. That means you aren't getting like some person sticking their wiener in it or whatever. It does smell pretty interesting. You have a little pea-sized amount. You know, it's you're never supposed to use more than like a pea size because of the fact that um, it's just wasted toothpaste. So, yeah. But yeah, so let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm gonna wet the toothbrush. Awesome, and then let's see if we maybe turn it on while it's on, what's gonna happen. Okay, nothing, good. I thought it was gonna be like my spin brush where you turn it on and just goes everywhere. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So, I completely forgot that there is in fact a timer in this, so that way it'll pulse, which it just did, where um, it'll pulse to have you switch sides. So I think it tells you to brush for 30 seconds in an area, pulses to switch sides, brush for 30 seconds in an area, pulse to switch sides, uh, and then it does that for I think two minutes, I think. And then the brush, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, shuts off. So I'm gonna just continue the brush and um, we're gonna see exactly what the timer is all about, okay? So, two things I have learned. One, I am definitely not brushing as long as I should be. Um, because that was way longer than I've probably brushed in a while. Um, not saying I skimp on brushing, but, uh, like, this definitely tells me that I'm brushing way shorter than I should, because I'm normally just like, so, like, that is already, to me, like, way quicker. Um, so this is good, and B, I really like the fact that it does have a, um, a timer on it, so that way I can know how long I'm supposed to be brushing, and I like that it turns off when it is done because, you know, when you are done brushing, uh, some people will just keep going and going and that burns the battery out. This thing will actually go ahead and um, turn itself off, which I really do enjoy. And then when you're all done, you just go ahead and I feel like you would want to go ahead and give it like a few flicks, you know, like just flick off the excess because it's going to be in here. Um, and then if you put it on there, it might like drip onto whatever you have. Us, um, we have a, like, a few things on this, like, glass shelf, so if I were to, like, slide it in here with just water on it, it'll go ahead and just, like, probably drip off, but, so I give it a few flicks to leave right there, and, you know, it kind of looks good that way. So, yeah, let's go to final impressions. Uh, final impressions, love the design that it comes in, so for design and visual, like, that gets probably a full-on 10, just because it looks futuristic, it looks awesome, it looks really cool, uh, I should probably have the brush with me, shouldn't I? I mean, th like, you can't get cooler looking than this. Like, look at that. That is just so sleek and so... It, it's, it's kind of space age, you know? Because there's no... There's no fancy, like, paint on it. There's no fancy buttons. There's not, like, a... There's not... I mean, hell, even looking at it, there is no uh, indicators on it of, like product you know like here's a product number there's no um name the only place you'd see the name is right here on the back of it very small and then also the little q for the power button uh you don't see it say spin brush uh there's no i don't know like my paint's coming off here because i've had this brush for so long uh yes you can replace the heads which i normally do but uh it, like look the freaking stuff is chipping off there eventually you're gonna need to buy a new spin brush I mean, that could probably be the same exact thing with this. Like, if you're holding it in a certain way, you're probably going to end up getting all of this to be, you know, wearing off. But, I don't know, it's kind of slick. And there's no, like, ridges in it. Uh, as you can see here, like, my girlfriend's toothbrush has some, you know, like, water damage and stuff in it. Uh, like, some buildup and shit. It's kind of gross. We should probably clean these. But, basically, I mean, this, you can't get much futuristic than this. As for packaging, like, I, I enjoy the subscription program to it, the fact that you can get new brush heads in every three months instead of sending, like, a reminder on your phone, which I guess would be, like, the normal thing to do nowadays if you actually want to get reminded of it. Um, but for the most part, people don't really... People don't... 
actually change their brush heads, you know? They, like, this for example, I mean, look at that. The brushes, the, this is all getting nice and frayed and shit. My girlfriend's gonna need to buy a new one of these. And I think, uh, which leaves me the next thing, which is price. Price, I think her two pack here was like 10 bucks. And yes, it's a good price for these. Uh, or it could have been, I don't know what the price was because she bought them, I didn't. Uh, spin brush though, I think it was like 20 bucks for two of these heads or something like that. Again, I don't know the exact prices. Uh, this was $25 for the first one, which does come with toothpaste. It comes with the travel toothpaste. It does come with the travel tube. It does come with the toothbrush and it comes with the stand that it goes on it. For $25, I think that is a really good thing. And uh, every three months, they're gonna go ahead and send you a new head a new thing of toothpaste and a new travel thing of toothpaste so I already think like that for I think it's like 10 bucks to do all that that for toothpaste 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 and a new head I think that kind of beats getting a whole new brush or doing that plus they also send you a battery I mean to get a new a battery nowadays you can't buy just a single battery these are double A's for me and you have to do that there is also a toothbrush that we have, like the, the Sonicare or whatever. It's like the spinny brush thing. Um, you have to charge it in to uh, do that. That one just seems annoying because of the fact that you have to do every single tooth with it because it's one of the circular ones. And it's like dzz, 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 dzz. And that just gets very, it gets very old very quickly. Um, but yeah, I am very eager to try this out uh, more. Like I just brushed my teeth now. Um, I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to look up an actual brushing method. Like I'm going to read through the book, um, before I use it, which I should have done. And then I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm supposed to be brushing. If it's supposed to be, you know, like the entire right side. And then when it pulses, go to the entire left side or whatever. Cause I didn't realize it was going to do it four times. And I was do I did left, right, front, and then front again, as well as like the insides. So, um, I'm going to need to figure that out. I might have to do like left and inside, right and inside, front and inside, back or bottom and inside or something like that. But anyways, um, yeah. So I think I, I kind of would recommend everyone at least try getting one of these just simply because of the fact that it definitely feels like a whole new toothbrush. Plus, I'm getting kind of sick of this toothbrush where it feels like I'm not brushing nearly enough because whenever you press the button, mine's dead right now. I haven't replaced the batteries in it in forever. But um, with the head, I just kind of feel like I'm doing this, like da 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 and that really doesn't help with brushing. This one brings back brushing, you know, the actual brushing motion, but it does have a vibration to it. And like I said, I don't know if the vibration is actually a thing that matters, but I can see where it could be a thing that matters, and I feel like um, it also might stimulate gums. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not a dentist. But yeah, so getquip.com, <laughs> um, $25 for a subscription, and at every month, every three months after that, it's 10 bucks. So I mean, you can't really, you can't really go wrong with that. But anyways, that is my impression, unboxing, etc. And so far, I mean, I think it feels nice and together. I've seen people saying on Twitter that it's gonna like they have a faulty head that falls off. So far, I haven't noticed that seems nice and on there yeah so well, cool